again, this is a series, and today we're adding on just a little bit more to what we've learned in the previous two weeks, which is opening up multiple files in Vim at once, uh, and we're trying to make it easier by adding, you know, uh, better tab completion, uh, and we've been working on this for a couple of weeks, and today we're going to add just a little bit more to that, and this is going, we're going to set the wildcard menu option. So again, if I tree out here, you can see how my file structure is set up. I have an index uh, HTML, we have a JS folder, which has three JavaScript files in it, as well as an, a subfolder, which has a subfolder, which has another JavaScript file in it. Last week we set our path variable to check all our files in the current directory and below. Let's go ahead and uh, look at how that works again. So I'm gonna say vim, and I'm just gonna go into my index file. So again, let's say, imagine you're working on an HTML file here, and you want to open up a JavaScript file that you're working with within this HTML. Um, well, we can hit colon find, and then I can type in, in our case, I can type in like main.js, and because we added our our asterisk asterisk to our path variable last week, it will find that main JS file even though it's it's three directories down, right? So, um, and if I type in colon ls, again it will list, I'm just reviewing a little bit here, the files that I have open, I can call colon b, and I can choose uh, the index.html, I can tab complete that. So, uh, but we can also do find, and let's say, oh yeah, it's, a, it's inside the JS folder, I don't remember what it's called, I can type in JS forward slash, and I can start hitting tab, and it'll go through all the different files within that folder. File, which is a subfolder, linux.js, site.js, and test.js are the three JS files. And that's great, but I want to make it look a little bit nicer. I want to be able to see all those files at once. Um, without having to tab through each one, going, uh, which one is it? Uh, and then going past it. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna set the wildcard uh, option. So we're gonna say colon set wildcard. Now, I'm sorry, not wildcard, set wild menu. Now that that is set, now if I go colon find JS forward slash, and I start hitting tab, you can see it lists all the files for me, and I can use tab or my arrow keys to go through them. So it just makes it a little bit nicer visually seeing what those files are. So now we can now add that again to our vimrc file and make that automatic because again, if we were to quit out of this and go back in and again fight, fight, uh, type find js forward slash and start hitting tab, we don't have that feature because any function we run down here is only for that session unless we add it to our vimrc menu. So let's go ahead and add it to our vimrc file, which again is in your home directory, which is what this tilde means. Uh, dot vimrc, the dot means it's a hidden file, and this is just a script that runs every time you start vim, and it will run all the functions that you put in here. And this is what we've created so far in the previous tutorials. Again, if you haven't watched the previous videos, again, I suggest watching them. Hopefully there's a link to the playlist in the video description. And today we're going to add the set wild menu. We will save that, and now if I go back into our index file, or, or any file uh, that I'm working on, uh, we now have that uh, option that when we tab complete, it lists out the files like so, makes it very easy to select a file to open, which that was an empty file, so that's a bad example. Uh, <laughs> oops, JS, and we'll choose the test JS. So, that is it. I thank you again for watching. As always, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. If you like my videos and watch them regularly, think about becoming a supporter. You can do that two main ways, uh, financially anyway. You can go to uh, patreon.com forward slash melx1000. Become a monthly supporter there for as little as a dollar a month. I do appreciate it. If you want to do a one-time uh, support, you can go ahead and use my PayPal link, again, at filmsbychris.com. And uh, if you can't support me financially, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Especially if you like this series, let me know uh, by liking this video and commenting and letting me know. As always, I thank you for watching, and I really do hope that you have.